A haunted hotel. Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to share this cool story that I had about a, a hotel that I was going to that was haunted. Um, well, I don't know if you want to say it's haunted, it's imprinted with energy or vibration um, or whether it's haunted. I don't know that I really believe that um, souls are lost, um, you know, um, and then don't go to the light. However, I mean, it's possible. Um, I'm more understanding of like energy imprints and those who've uh, passed over, you know, going to source, but never really uh, roaming, uh, you know, the, the earth as a dark soul or anything like that. But, um, you know, that can be anybody's belief system if you want to take it that way. All I know is uh, like when I went to uh, Liberty University, I, it was like a homeschooling for college. Um, so I did that as a distance study for my counseling degree. Um, and so uh, part of that you were required to actually go on campus for about a week or two um, periodically throughout the, the, you know, the degree, um, however long you were going. So at this one stage, you know, I had booked this one hotel that I went to and not to give the name, but uh, it was really interesting uh, when we got there. Well, I went on my own, of course. But for this period, I booked this hotel that was not too far away. So I didn't really need to rent a car, you know, because they had um, a service there that would actually take you to the, the college, you know, uh, from the, the hotel or resort. But, um, but the minute I walked into this hotel, you know, I just felt this energy and then I took all my my suitcases. I had like this little suitcase and then this my main my main suitcase. Um, and then there was like the zipper that I had attached to the one um, case that I had it was like a smaller one and then this other bigger one. So I walked into the door and the minute I stepped in that room, it was it was like really interesting. Um, so I had put my suitcase down and I put my smaller case on the bed. And the minute the bed, I put that on the bed, it, I heard this, uh, like the, what do you call it? The zipper start shaking on the bed. And I was like, oh my God, right? <laughs> I was like, what is that? And so it started shaking. I put my phone down on the little coffee table with the light, the stand. My next, after the, um, shaking my phone went flying off the table and then the next thing i know like i felt like this right and it was like this energy just went through me right it was like they went through me whoever this was and i'm like okay now having been after the waking experience prior to experience the waking experience i probably would have been in fear right Fear, oh my God, there's a ghost, you know, because of all the conditioned states, right? Being after my awakening, not being in that fear space, I was like, look, okay, I'm only here for two weeks, and this is the room I'm staying in, and we're gonna need to get along for like these two weeks, and then I'm gone, right? And that's how I was, right? And so <clears throat> nothing happened after that you know, as far as anything along those lines. But it was, it was really interesting <clears throat> that the minute that I walked in there, because I was, I was open, I was more in tune to the presence of other people uh, that may not be in physical form. Now, whether it's a person that's passed over and um, coming back or, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe there are those who don't pass over, but I don't know. Um, I, I don't... I mean, I've had the experiences that I've had. Now, whether that's just an energy imprint, you know, I don't, um, you know, of that energy or soul that's been created there, or whether it's actually a person who's passed over that hasn't gone to light. You know, I, I'm not here to determine that. Um, you may have some more insight on that, and, you know, maybe that's just your experience or your belief, but whatever, you can always drop that below. 
But that was the first time that I was there in that um, hotel and having put in, you know, my boundaries up, you know, nothing really happened beyond that point, except for, I mean, there was a few other things that happened. Um, I mean, I had been woken, I think it was like around one o'clock and this image of this woman, you know, uh, was standing above me as I was sleeping, um, up here there. I happened to open my eyes, you know, briefly, and there was a person standing there, you know, looked like a person in white. Um, and that's, again, why I say, like, it's an imprint, because, like, I have experiences of people passing over, and then they never show up like that, right? So it's almost becoming physical as far as, like, an imprint of, like, um, becoming solid, like so a solidity, a solidity of form, right? Or is it going to be like um, a vortex, you know, two um, energies overlapping each other? Or is it, you know, there's a lot of different things that you can, you know, um, come to determine, you know, maybe what the possibilities are of that, you know, um, maybe there's um, an overlay of energy, you know, from a one time period to another time period, um, two different, I don't know. But anyway, that's why I think it's more of an imprint of an energy of somebody that's already been there um, and has never really dealt or um, healed whatever situation that was evolved from there or whatever that person left there. I don't know necessarily it's a person who never went to the light because they were appearing in white right um but all my the only other thing that i can say is because when i had visions of jesus you know um, it appeared to me you know through the third eye you know as a, as a form so i don't know um i don't really haven't really dived much into that but anyway that's a whole different conversation to get into but if you have anything that you want to share you know below definitely drop it in the comments but anyway going back to the experiences at this one hotel the next morning um, you know, I was getting ready, went downstairs for the morning breakfast, and then this other student sat with me. And it was funny because um, the waitress um, was sitting in front of this one picture in this one corner booth, and she was on that side and I was on this side. Um, and we we're sitting there having tea, talking about, you know, the, um, the course and the topics and the information and whatnot. And the waitress brought our teacups, right? And she put them down. And then I was talking with the student uh, across from me, and my teacup uh, that had the uh, coffee or tea in it uh, picked up and slammed back down into the saucer, the plate. And I looked up, at, I looked down, I looked up at her, and she was like, "She's like, I seen that." <laughs> like, I was like, "Yeah, there, there's something here." Um, and she was in counseling um, as well, and so it was really interesting. And so little things like that would continue to happen. Um, you know, as time evolved, but nothing, you know, more serious than that, because, you know, it's, I didn't go into the fear based on that, and I kind of set my boundaries that we're going to need to get along here, whether you're somebody who's passed over, decided not to go to the light, or if you're just an imprint here in this energy, um, they were doing construction there um, at the time, and so whether they were digging up, moving energy around, um, whatever happened there, I know Virginia, it was in Virginia, I know Virginia, they've had a lot of um, civil, like wars, things like that, killings, um, of course, that's, you know, a whole different ball game. And maybe it's just something, like I said, you know, an old energy that's um, still remaining there, imprint. Um, but yeah, that was an uh, interesting experience, you know, going to the hotel. It's a very old old hotel that we're, they were remodeling and making new, but that, that cup. And so it wasn't like just me. Um, having the experience, um, her uh, seeing that the cup went up and went down is a validation that that actually happened there. Um, and then having her being an, a, a witness also to some other things, you know, that happened on the table while we're, and she's like, and she asked me, she's like, oh, uh, it's, why is, because nothing happened to her, um, <laughs> you know, other than being an onlooker. Um, and She's like, you must be really open and aware of these different things, or they must know that you're uh, very connected or 
um, you're uh, open, you know, to receive, uh, you know, everything in, in intuitive, and um, which was true. You know, I've been having experiences uh, since I was young, and I've had a lot of different um, experiences of people. I've known people, uh, you know, prior to their death and having the knowledge, I don't, not that they were going to die, but I felt like they were going to die. Um, I did have the knowledge of one person going to die, um, and then they did die. But prior to that, you know, the the waking, it was just a feeling, um, which, you know, with the 9-11, I've, I had that awareness that was coming and COVID, things like that, but not really knowing what it actually was, but I just had that feeling. It's like an intuitive feeling. But yeah, it was like, it was really interesting experience at this hotel. And I'm sorry, I can't give you the name of it, but um, some of the hotels, um, you know, in Lynchburg, uh, Virginia uh, and surrounding areas are, are like that. So um, if you're looking to do any um, <laughs> uh, investigations on, on that area, definitely check out those hotels. But yeah, I just wanted to share that experience. You know, we do have, you know, the, the energy imprints. We have um, people who've passed over and now, um, yeah, if you have any, um, anything you want to add to that, you know, about what that might have been, you know, drop that below in the comments and share uh, what you have as far as your knowledge. All right, happy journey.